Hello there all. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make blowback guns or the simple design of blowback guns in People Playground. Um, this is going to be along the lines of something that we're going to be making. It's going to have a magazine that will push bullets in, um, a trigger mechanism, and your blowback mechanism. So this is what we're going to be making. So let's get started. First thing we're going to need is um, a bullet. I like to use the um, what the, the configurable explosives. Here, this right here, that little guy. Um, shouldn't if you watch like noobs videos, that's the same kind of thing he uses. I did also use um, uh, like a TNT and a bell. That's also a thing I did. That was a pretty meh sort of thing. So I don't think I even saved one. Yeah, because it's not looking like it. Which is okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually steal that. All right. So first thing we're gonna have to do is make the barrel. So I'm gonna pause, and I'm gonna hold down um, Alt. So then, this is um, like locked on a fixed rotation to make sure that's nice and straight. And then I have the quality of life mod installed. So I mean, like I have like titanium rods and some some other weird stuff. Um, yeah, so this one just makes it heavier, but we'll we'll just use a normal metal rod as a base, just in case people don't want to use those. So, uh, so you want to have a pretty good size barrel. It doesn't also doesn't have to be huge either, but you don't want it to be teeny weeny. So probably get something around that. Bring it nice and close. Get a bullet, and then Control C, Control V. Let's go over and up, about like that. Select both of these, and then we're gonna freeze it, and then we're gonna unpause. Now I like to give it just a little bit extra room because it can have some speeding problems. So we say we want it to go up into it, which is not what we're going to be doing for oop, this type of bullet. But it uh, it could you know, affect things for other types of guns. We're just going to put a big old pile of them over there just in case we need any more. So we're going to pause again. Metal rod. Uh, let's see. So then, what I'm going to do now? Going to make like a little area where they're going to be loaded in from. So actually, I don't even need to resize it. Stop resizing here. And well, there's just be a little bit extra room like that. Okay, I'm going to do another one. For this. Alright, so this means now we have something that we can put bullets into. Just like that. And we got to add the whole blowback part of it. This is where it can get a little funky, but it's actually not that bad. So for um, your bolt, we, or not we, I, <laughs> I normally use a slider. That's what I'm going to do. So say if this is, you know, like your barrel or whatever, you can um, have this here, Re not resize that, silly me, um, freeze that. And then what I do then is then I use a phase link, so it phases to that. I just okay. Just want to make sure that's where I want it to go. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it nice and thin, a little bit long. Uh, I think I'm just gonna bulk it up just a little more, so it's something kinda like that. Alright, so then we're going to bring the bolt now out here a little bit, 
then we're going to extend a, stri um, a spring down like this. So if we unpause, we should um, get something like this where it just it spins like this. That's what you want. Then we're gonna find like where you would want it. So if this is gonna be pushed in, we're gonna find that sort of position. And then we're gonna use a wire and we're gonna connect it to the end of the slider to restrict its movement. So this is where you gotta be careful now. So you think if, if there's, there's gonna be another bullet on top of this. So that means that means in this whole setup is not gonna have to move backwards. Like this now. So then you want it to at least be able to um, clear the little area in just a little bit more. So delete those. Have um, your normal spring here. Go to the very end. Use your wire here. So now you put this in on the top. Alright, so if it feeds now correctly like that, that means you've done it right. So, it's gonna, you can also have it maybe, or, well, you know, that's, that's a different video. I'm not gonna go into that right now. So now we have that, so maybe you want it to now stop only like right there. So what we're gonna do is use another normal metal rod, and resize it, get nice and teeny tiny. And then I like to put it just like right there. I'm gonna freeze it. Stop resizing. Like Alright, so here's where testing comes into place. So like, I always copy it or I'm making it and I paste. Let me just check. So explosion range is one. Fragment force is one. Oof. Yeah, 140. That's right. Alright. So, you should be able to load this and then. Um, not that. Take uh, one of these. Put it up there. Okay, wait. That was a dumb move of me. It's because it's not actually going to be held. Anyway, but. We still want to test this, so we use uh, slow motion. Yeah, so that looks like that will work. As you can see, it did go all the way up successfully. So now we know that works. We can continue to build. So then, what I'm going to do here? I'm going to resize this. And we're going to control C, control V. It all the way to right here ish. So it's nice and lined up. Going to freeze that. And then this is where we're going to use another slider. And we're actually going to use it as the magazine. And it's going to push it down. So now what we're going to do, like I said, is get a slider again. Get it to about here. Click on this. Freeze this one. Take this. Resize it. Let me think about that. You don't want it to be the super duper heavy part because that can affect its mass. Okay. Make sure you can do that. And then what we do, you come to all the way, you know, down about here. And we do this because, um, I mean, it's going to give it some extra pushing power. If we only did it to here, it might not be strong enough. So we're going to do that. And then since we can actually move this back up, it still compresses in pause mode. And then we're also then going to restrain this. Like it can only go so far. Alright, like... Like that. 
Okay. So this is where I take this here. C. G. Like that. Alright. Take this. Control C. Control C up here. Look at that. It's sort of Now, like I said before, um, the more room you can give something, the easier it is it's going to be for it to chamber. Means that if I move that up there, you're going to see now that that's going to be easier, but it's also going to want to fly up. So then it's going to move that up. And just like that. Okay, so now we've got the whole blowback sort of ordeal done with this now we have to make a trigger so how do we make a trigger um so for these certain types of um, bullets they can not be ignited by electricity um, unlike you know tnt bullets um so what you use is you do a little bit of electrical wiring and i'll show you how you do that so what i'm gonna do i'm just <laughs> I'm, I'm going to show you what you got to do. We're going to make a little platform. Freeze that. Don't freeze this one. You're going to resize it, make it nice and tiny, because this is going to be our trigger. You're going to put it at the angle you would want your trigger. You're going to use a pin here. You're going to put the pin right in between um, where your trigger is and the bar. So then you should be able to um, unpause, and you'll see that it can now rotate. Perfect. So I'm actually gonna, I don't want it to have too big of a angle. And what I'm gonna do, we're gonna use a strong spring and we're gonna minimize the area for that spring. So that means it's gonna do one of these, basically when we pull it back. We see how much it wobbles? We don't want it to wobble like that. So what we're actually gonna do the next is we're gonna do the same thing with a normal wire. And it's also gonna help restrict it and not make it move as much. So, now let's say I only want right there to be where it um, detonates. So we're going to just pause it there. So the next thing we're going to need is a button. And we're using a button because we're going to use a button to power a lag box. That lag box is, go is, is then going to go to a pistol, like in the game pistol, like the guns. And it's going to activate it and it's going to shoot the, um, your explosive. And that's when it's gonna make it get all set off and stuff. So, what I like to do first is I just I like to resize the button like so. Make it nice and teeny tiny. And then I'm gonna stop resizing it. Click on it, and you're going to freeze this part. And that's just me making sure that that's working. So now you have that work. You can move it up, I believe. Now. Like that now, if you want to. Now this is where we're going to use a lag box. Our lag box. We're gonna disable the heat damage because I'm actually gonna move it up. Um, you can do that if you want, but just because it's gonna be right next to the um, explosives. I'm gonna want to have it um, closer, like so. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, hold on. Let me think. So now we have the lag box, and now we gotta get it going to the piston. All right. Sorry about that. So gonna do not set angle is you're gonna stop resizing make sure that this is also frozen um, stable collisions as well since we're colliding with that and you can see it takes a certain amount of time to make an electrical signal go through through it so it means it's gonna it's gonna have an electrical signal to, until it dings again 
because of that we're going to set it um, with a delay of 0, 0.06 um, or 7 I only do 7 we get something like that we're going to use the green arrow wire the propagation wire whatever it's called and we should now and we can also um, decrease that delay if we wanted to to 0.4 which is the lowest we can get it That might not even make something shoot. So the next thing is you choose your pistol. Um, I'm gonna take this, and you're gonna want to freeze it. You're gonna want to accurate. Yeah, so you can see that that one's nice and accurate. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna disable the collisions. We're going to resize it so it's nice and uh, teeny weeny. Not so it's too too teeny weeny. So we can still add the wires and stuff. And then we're going to add the wire to the gun. Bring the gun down to about, I don't know, here. And what we're going to do... Wait, no, 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 we've already... Um, frozen everything. Just want to... And now you can actually see, get it to shoot. So now we get this sort of abomination. So copy this, come over here, paste it. Now we got our bullet loaded, so now we can go. Oh. And just like that, you can now see. You've actually emptied everything, and that, my friends, is how I do blowback for my guns. Um, please tell me if you um if this helped. If it didn't, nah, maybe tell me why. I'm still new to this tutorial sort of thing. So, thanks for watching, and bye bye.